Perhaps you would have heard about intellectual maturity and physical maturity. What about spiritual maturity? And today we are going to talk about what is spiritual maturity and signs of spiritual maturity that would help you to know that you have or the person you know or come, come across has achieved the level of spiritual maturity. Now the question is what is spiritual maturity. Spiritual maturity is a process of gradually developing a healthy lifestyle relevant to yourself, society and environment. And spiritual maturity, people connect with other people in order to experience connectivity, joyfulness and peacefulness. And when we talk about spiritual maturity, then it, it, it is. It doesn't happen at, uh, at a certain moment in time. It is an intentional process, gradual process. You have to work on it, and it requires a lot of time, patience, effort, and energy. And now let's discuss the signs of spiritual maturity. And first of all is core set values. Often we don't pay attention on the values and assumptions and belief, but they play a significant role uh, on the actions that we perform with that we take in our lives a spiritually immature person would keep on living a life without realizing the fact without realizing those forces that that are impacting his behavior actions and attitude on the other hand a spiritually mature person uh, would be would live a, a conscious and mindful life uh, based on the values like uh, love passion compassion sympathy empathy and 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 love and these are the core values he would be mindful and conscious because those values would impact his action and attitude and behavior in life and a spiritually mature person won't pay heed on the negative thoughts because the negative thoughts would promote the negative values. And once you uh, once you become mindful of uh, uh, once you become mindful of, of your values, then you would find values in various areas of life. Nelson Mandela once said, uh, keeping resentment and holding grudges is like hoping is like drinking poison and hoping the death of the other person. A spiritually mature person won't think about taking the life of the other person either literally or metaphorically. Instead of uh, keeping uh, resentment and holding grudges, a spiritually mature person w w would simply forgive other people that uh, those who have hurt him or her and uh, forgiveness allow spiritually mature person to to um, to become free from the shackles of grudges and resentment all the spiritual laws and spiritual values they promote the culture of caring for the needy and poor people and i, I understand that uh, in our busy life we simply shut ourselves shut us down from the voices uh, of poor and needy and uh, the weakest member of the society on the other hand uh, spiritually mature people they are simply they aware of the needs and worries and troubles of the uh, of the weakest member of the society and they take actions uh, for their betterment and it is because they are aware of the fact that helping the the poor and needy people is a first step for the development of a healthy and developed society when we become adult, then the troubles and worries of adult life, they simply stop us to, to experience the wonders of life. And on the other hand, spiritually mature people, they simply they experience the wonders of life. And they don't just simply experience it and see it, they take interest in the beauty of life, in the beauty of nature, in the beauty of living. They perceive every moment of life a gift and they treat it, they enjoy it, they, they care for it. They don't, they don't just give it away for being ungrateful and negative living. 
afraid of excess and abundance mindset the two uh, concept may seem conflicting ideas but when you look at them closely the abundance mindset and excess uh, afraid of excess the two when you look at them when you look at them closely then you would see the the connection and uh, uh, life is all about living a healthy lifestyle and uh, life is all about maintaining a balance between the healthy lifestyle with the environment and spiritual gurus on the other hand they have advised us they have warned us about not getting involved in the uh, materialistic pleasures of life and uh, the uh, spiritual spiritual uh, spiritual maturity is a state when when you don't store things you know the difference between needs and want you only eat whatever you need it what you whatever your body needs and simply let go of the other things and they simply spiritually mature people they they don't store things they simply give it away they believe in the fact that Uh, that they have got sufficient uh, things for them life is abundance because they believe in the concept of abundance we are living in a world of social media and technology and it has made our mind of instant gratification and instant gratification means happiness and it would lead us to uh, it would make us to forget about the troubles and worries of life and on the other hand many research studies they have shown that the, there is a connection and correlation between uh, delayed gratification and success in various areas of life sometimes in life we truly want something and we want a certain thing to happen in our life but it doesn't happen and spiritually mature people they are simply aware of the fact that when we don't get things that we don't uh, that we truly want in our life then it is because of the two reason either it isn't good for us or it isn't the right time and when the timing is good when the thing is good then it would happen it would come in our life they simply accept that fact and instead of running after things they find pleasure in the smallest things and they pursue pleasure in the smallest things in life there's a common misperception and misconception in today's materialistic world that if you are living a busy life and stressed out then it means you are an important person on the other hand if you are living a carefree and player playable and lazy life then it means you are an irresponsible person and this mindset and this this culture has uh, has made the people to To, they are simply afraid of celebrating the happy moments in life and they do so they are afraid to celebrate the happy moments in life because they do so because of the two reason either they feel un- unworthy or they simply fearful that those moments they simply go away and they would be stuck in the disappointed life and it makes them vulnerable uh, to to the disappointment and the the reality is how could you be disappointed when you are already living a life of disappointment and uh, spiritually mature people on the other hand they simply they simply fight off this disappointed mindset and this state of mind and by practicing great gratitude and gratefulness in their life and they live a life of joyfulness they experience joyfulness i know that you can't be happy all the time but you can feel joyfulness spiritually mature people they reflect their actions in life and they perform various tasks uh, of their daily life uh, regularly when you perform various tasks regularly then it allows you to evaluate your performance based on your actions and when things go wrong they don't blame others spiritually mature people are highly reliable and dependable they know the value of words and when you ask them for something they don't won't be uh, make the commitment immediately they would take time because they uh, they would consider they would evaluate your request based uh, uh, whether it is aligned with their values and belief whether they have the time and energy to fulfill uh, to complete the request and make the commitment when they when they make the 
the commitment they would they would do then they would do everything to make things happen we the human beings have our limitations they are things that we cannot control they are things that we cannot change and spiritually mature people they have understand that fact they have accepted their reality and their focus is on making an impact on life and then they are aware of the fact that you have to work on uh, on your goals and objectives and the beauty of life is not uh, achieving the goals is not on uh, um, reaching the destination the beauty of life is in the process the beauty of life lies in the journey and that's what spiritual maturity is all about and we have discussed in in detail what is spiritual maturity and the signs of spiritual maturity and if you have any question just leave it in the comment box below i'll answer it to you i'll get back to you as soon as i can have a good day good evening good afternoon good morning wherever you are whatever time it is in your part of the world